All right. So I was carefully tiptoeing through all these images in my head when I stumbled once again upon you there in my pillows, my towels, my bed, all in this place and in the air. Dear God, your stink is everywhere. And I still say that I don't care because I don't. Well, okay, I do, but it's not about me now. It's you who've come back taunting me and begging me to leave the past behind. But I see you mimic me. You're mocking me. You're entrenched within my mind. You're like a ghost or like a curse or even worse, you're a disease. Because every time I'm moving on, you just blow in with the breeze, bringing in yesterday's smells, leaving bad taste in my mouth. You make me sick. You make me swell to a reason's hijacked, headed south, leaving stains on all my clothes, all in this place, all in the air, and all our friends say I should call you, but I really just don't care. See, I can take you off till Tuesday and try to wash my mind's frame free, but there's a particle that lingers on and will not let me be. I try the spin cycle, rinse cycle, other people's beds. I try the inside splurge and the advice purge from other people's heads, but they don't know you like I do. They do not have my sense of knowing. They ain't been where I have been. So how can they say where I'm going? You see, no one has the right to condescend the way I feel. Because I trusted you, you bitch, and now I'm here and I am real. So it should come as no surprise to you. This anger keeps on growing. And in order not to wake it, now I'm carefully tiptoeing. Hey.